Hi guys, it's Sheena. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to do a really quick update to let you guys know that I, um, I hadn't heard back from the doctor's office yet, so I decided to give them a call and see what was going on with my lab work since it's been almost a week since I had the blood drawn. And so anyway, so I call and the nurse was like, oh, we have your FSH levels, but we haven't received everything else. So, um, you should call your doctor, or not the doctor, call the lab and see, like, if they're sending everything else over. Um, so I call the lab and they're like, oh, yeah, we have all these orders for all these other, um, things you're supposed to get tested for, but it appears that they only tested your FSH levels and they didn't have the blood sample anymore either. So I was all stressed out because I thought that everything had to be drawn on cycle day three. And now I'm at, what cycle day am I at? I don't know, I think I'm like 12. I don't know, I'm not used to counting cycle days. Anyway, so then I called back to the doctor and she was like, oh, you know, um, that's okay, we'll just have you get your blood drawn again and all this drama because I guess FSH was the only one that needed to get drawn on cycle day three. So, actually, you know, I have the paper. Hang on. Okay. 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 So, what they were... Actually, I could show it to you guys if I fold this over. So this is what I was supposed to get tested for. Um, ah. FSH, prolactin, TSH, those things, what it's supposed to be, um, tested for. Anyway, so I don't know if you guys know what that means any more than I do. Progesterone, DHEA, sulfate, testosterone, varicella, antibody, rubella antibody, and then also cystic fibrosis. So, I guess my FSH level was uh, 7.6, and the nurse said that that's good, and I was trying to do some research online to see what a healthy FSH level is, and I saw some that said, you know, they want it to be below 10, others that said below 18, so I don't know if any of you guys know anything about FSH levels. I know it's the follicle stimulating hormone oh, and I guess you don't want that to be too high so I don't know I'm not really sure but so I got my FSH level back I still have to go back and get more blood work done because they didn't test me for all these things they were supposed to test me for to begin with which I don't even know why they didn't because this whole list they had this so yeah I, I hate dealing with doctor drama. It's so stupid. It's just frustrating. It's like, okay, if you have this in your system that you're supposed to test me for everything, how come it didn't happen? And, you know, I have to go back in anyway to get an ultrasound next Friday. So I'm just going to get my blood drawn again next Friday, but hopefully they get back to me sooner. And, yeah, so that is what's up. My FSH is a 7.6. Comment below if you know anything about FSH levels because I'm new to all this terminology and everything. So, all right, ladies, hope you're doing well and enjoy the summer. It is hot as all hell out here. It's like 96 degrees and humid and, yeah, it's insane. I'm not used to all this heat, but, oh well, at least it's not winter. So, all right, talk to you later. Bye. Hi guys, I forgot to mention that I got a Facebook for this YouTube account. Um, so first name is Sheena, last name is Sheena Shine. And so yeah, add me if you like. I will admit I am a crappy Facebooker. I don't go on every day. I'm much better at YouTube. If you want to message me through YouTube, I'm not the best Facebooker, but I hope to get more into it. So yeah, add me if you like. All right. Bye guys.